<laughs> okay, we're live now. Okay. So cancelling of beliefs. So, um, so how do you do cancelling of beliefs? Uh, you can, in, like I've let go of three illnesses, kidney failure, gout, asthma, Hawkins let go of 23 illnesses, and he ran a group where people with AIDS and cancer all lost their illnesses. So the um, cancelling beliefs is very, very powerful. And um, so what is, what is the belief? And I was actually speaking, and I wanted to share it maybe on this video as well. Someone asked me about illness and how to cancel illnesses. Mm -hmm. You know, illnesses could be things uh, like uh, can cancer. I'm not making any medical claims because this is a video. I don't claim anything with this. So I'm not trying to purport anything. Uh, but, uh, but you can try it and see if it works. And I don't purport to anyone not to take medical treatment and follow the advice of a doctor. But anyway, things like cancer or gout or asthma. Now, when I, when I, when I cancel an illness, and I, I've never shared this on video before, I cancel the illness and I cancel the top medical marker for that illness. So, for example, gout. When I cancel my gout, the top medical marker for gout is uric acid levels. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So people who have gout attacks tend to have high uric acid levels in the blood. So I would do it like I cancel my belief in gout, like that doesn't exist. I'm an infinite being subject unto what I hold in mind. But I would say like I cancel my belief in gout and high uric acid levels mm -hmm. together. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Mm -hmm. Like if I was going to do, if I, I don't have heart failure, but if I had heart failure, I might do like, I cancel my belief in heart failure and high cholesterol levels. Mm -hmm. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Or um, you might be, I can't cancel my belief in, um, you know, whatever illness it is and whatever the top medical marker. So those are like uric acid, or if I was doing, you know, uh, high blood pressure, I might do, I cancel my belief in high blood pressure and high systolic and diastolic uh, levels. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind, or what other illnesses are there? Um, diabetes. Di di yes, that's a brilliant one, thank you. I might I cancel my belief in diabetes and high blood sugar levels or fluctuating uh, blood sugar levels. So, those are the things. Now, understand that uh, I'm using it from, I've also had a white light spiritual experience where I'm meeting Muji. So I've had these incredible spiritual experiences of infinite peace, light and love. And I recognize that to be the truth of who I am. So when I'm in my ego and experiencing limitation or illnesses or things in the body, for me, these are not real. They're illusions, which I'm currently buying or latching or believing. If you, whatever you want to call them. So here's the thing when you cancel a belief. Lesson 14 of Course, and you can do cancel me for Lesson 14 of A Course in Miracles. Mm -hmm. Lesson 14 of A Course in Miracles says, God did not create cancer, so it is not real. It actually says that. God yeah. did not create cancer, so it's not real. It's just a collective idea of insanity within the collective of humanity that that exists. So that's the course, what the Course says. Or so, if you're doing like, God did not create cancer, it's not real. You see, so first of all, you're like, you're stating the thing that you want eliminated from your ego, holding on to that fear-based idea. So you're saying like, God did not create cancer, so it's like, you're saying that in God's infinite, pure world of light and love, that this idea, this does not exist. Cancer... The idea of he did not, it 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 didn't it does not exist. So that's the that's the level of I'm sharing that because you want to, in order to speed the process up, you have to have a hundred percent conviction. God did not in in if you've had a spiritual experience in those spiritual experiences, nothing limited or negative or fear based exists, and you're in the truth. So you say, like I'm now stating the truth. God. You know, in God's world, cancer does not exist. That is the truth. Yes. When you have a spiritual experience, you realize that God did not create it. That's something in a dark, dark, illusory, separated world. God did not create cancer. It is not real. Yeah? 
is it with that. So you, because your belief in it means it will keep happening. It keeps showing up in your experience because you believe it. When I do, I cancel my belief in kidney failure. It's like I cancel, like this does not, it, God did not create it. This is an insane idea that I'm purchasing. I'm an infinite being. And then I return to the light. When I say I'm an infinite being, I return to that place of limitless light and love. So it's like, yes, this is the truth of what I am. I am insanely buying an idea which I'm suffering from. Yeah. So I cancel my belief in kidney failure. I'm an infinite being. So either, either one, and then you just totally do it. You go to the light, but you have to say the thing you want to go. You can't just say, I'm the light. You have to like disclaim you purchasing. Because if it's showing up in your experience, you already got it. You already believe it. So you've got to cancel it. So that's how you do it. Um, and, uh, you know, all my, you know, like I found that asthma and, asthma and gout left in approximately three years and the kidney failure left in five years through miracles, just by stating. It's like, and then what I find is like, when it is gone from your head, the universe just takes it out. Mm -hmm. was my experience, it no longer exists. It's like, I think when the belief was fully canceled with my asthma clinic, I went to my clinic where they get you to be blown a tube to see how much air you can push this little dial in. And it was like, it went, it went to, like it, it just suddenly went, suddenly went down like it never gone that far before. Mm. And they said, oh, that's normal. We discharged you. They just discharged me and never went back. And, you know. and the gout, I cancelled the belief. And I was going back to these rheumatology appointments. And it's like I haven't had a gout attack for one month. I haven't had a gout attack for three months. I haven't had a gout attack for a year. He said, oh, forget it. You know, we're discharging you. So that was that, was that you see. And then when, I, when the fear and the belief in, in the, suddenly I had a transplant and that was gone. So it's like when the fear and the belief leaves you, it's like the universe comes in and there's a, there's a, that was my experience with the miracle. So I share my experience just to know, you know, you don't want to believe this stuff. Yeah.